Hey guys, it's your boy, Inconsistent Audio, and I'm back for another video. Let's talk about work. So I've been working at this new super cool and fancy food shop about for about a month now, but I think it's about time that I did a video on it. What is it, you may be asking? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a little place called S- uh, Suabway. You may have heard of it before. So let me talk about my experience at Suabway when I first started making sandwiches for a living. Because content. And yes, I'm a YouTube animator who also works at Subway and draws partially animated circle head white avatars. On with the video! First things first, this is the hardest job I've ever had. Actually, it's the first job I've ever had. That's besides the point. This is the most unorganised, stress-inducing job you could possibly choose out of all the minimum wage starter jobs. Well, at least, it was for me at least. I get paid monthly for minimum wage and there's like a million things to do in this job. I really didn't expect as much work to go into a sandwich shop as it does. But, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of work that goes into a sandwich shop. I thought I was just going to be making sandwiches for a living, not running the entire building. Basically what I'm saying is, this is not the type of job you should be doing for minimum wage. But I need the money to live because I'm a Burke College student, so... I guess I'll just accept my fate as the genie of the sandwich shop for now. Okay, okay, it's not that hard of a job, but it's definitely not easy either. And this doesn't apply to every sewer boy out there, just the one I'm working at specifically because... Every sandwich shop is different. The perks. The staff are really nice and so is my manager. It's usually not that busy and I get a 10% discount. And I get unlimited free drinks. And sometimes free cookies. Now for literally everything else. So the sewer way I worked at isn't really that well known in my area and it doesn't even have its own Wi-Fi. Which is pretty weird to be honest because to, to use credit cards and stuff for the cash register, we kind of need internet access so the money transactions can go through. Because magic. We sort of just leech off the Wi-Fi from the building next door because it's sort of a giant supermarket, so our internet's pretty crappy. Okay, okay, it's really crappy. So, as you may have guessed by now, this leads to the cash machine being extremely slow whenever someone tries to pay with their card, so it ends up resulting in us just awkwardly staring at each other. Waiting. Taking in our sweet time to- Oh, it's done. Okay, bye. Do you want a receipt? Yeah, I wasn't really that bad about giving it to you anyway, it's whatever, it's fine, it's okay. Usually the customer would just walk off instantly without saying anything, or they'd just say thanks and walk off as soon as they can, as soon as the payments come through. Oh, did I tell you about the marvellous machine thing we have called the, uh, uh, m receipt maker thing? Oh, it's great. It uses the finest and most high-tech and sophisticated, uh, something country engineering to craft receipts of exactly what the customer ordered in record timing, which is usually about 20 seconds. Wow! Also, the receipt printer seems to just vomit out a whole tree worth of receipts whenever it tries to print something because I guess it just hates trees. That or it hates me. I will. Also, it always gets jammed. Also, don't judge me on my starter sentence vocabulary. We have the most advanced and vigilant security system any sewerway has ever had. Cameras are placed all around the shop and are constantly, well, regularly monitored by the higher up so that they can see what we're doing at all times. I don't really have a problem with this that much because it's just security to make sure that we're doing our jobs and not watching Spider-Man 3, but it's extremely tight security. The security is that tight that you have to be working at all times. There's, there's no way around it. If there's no customers at all and your building is completely cleaned and you have no jobs left to do, you can't just sit in the staff room. Pfft, don't be silly. We have to pretend to work instead. Like cleaning tables that's already clean and stuff like that. This is the advice that my manager wanted me to do. They're always watching. And finally, let's talk about what you've all been waiting for. The customers. Actually, most of the customers are really polite and nice. They're usually really patient with me because I'm pretty... I'm a pr <laughs> I'm a bit slow when it comes to making sandwiches because I'm still pretty new. I usually work on salads or at the till, so I'm usually the one that's wrapping your sandwiches before you get to take them home to eat them or eat them right there in front of me. Whatever you choose, it's fine. Do what you want. It's not my sandwich. However, this usually ends in me frantically wrapping the sandwiches like a bad Christmas present, but I get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, professional sandwich artist. Okay, okay. So this video is a nightmare to record because I have no idea how to use this microphone at all, or how to set it up. But yeah, the mic the quality of the microphone is quite terrible, but whatever, you're just gonna have to deal with it for a while because I can't afford a new one. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about some good stuff. So, let's talk about something that makes me really happy. 100 subs already! 
subscribe. Ah, 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. I, <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I got I got my first fan art for 100 subscribers already. I didn't I didn't know fan art came with 100 subscribers, but apparently it does. And I am eternally grateful for this. Look at it. It looks amazing. Thank you, Chunky Monkey underscore one two four six. Sorry if I'm not remembering your name correctly. It, it'll be on screen anyway. But yeah, this 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 fan art it it will hold a special place in my heart forever. As I can't believe someone took the time out of their day to draw me a picture of my little character thing. So thank you, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all of you for subscribing and getting me to 100. I know 100 isn't a lot to a lot of people, but it's a lot to me. It's 100 people. So thank you, I, I really appreciate it. Okay, bye.